Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hanover County's virtual college visit. Today, I'm excited to introduce Michaela Cotton, who is a representative from Mary Baldwin University, and she is here to share all the exciting programs and different need to know information about Mary Baldwin. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, like she was saying, my name is Michaela Cotton. Um, I also graduated from MBU. And so just here's my bio, um, some information about me. And so before graduating in 2021, I was pursuing my degree in sociology um, with a concentration in anthropology and then a minor in Spanish. And so I was doing a little bit of everything, but Mary Baldwin is a liberal arts college. And so pretty much they just sort of encouraged us to explore in different fields and in different disciplines um, and then decide our majors. And so throughout my um, undergraduate career, I did work in the admissions office um, as a tour guide and then an assistant to the Welcome Center coordinator. Um, and so that sort of increased my love for admissions and just meeting prospective students. And so once I graduated, I applied to become an admissions counselor and then I started working there last year. And so this is my second year as an admissions counselor. So I'm that person who checks over your application applications, but also the person who comes to like visit schools and then go to um, college fairs and things like that. And now I'm currently still going to Mary Baldwin for my master's now um, in higher education. And so here's some facts about MBU. So our Student to faculty ratio is 10 to one. So it's pretty small. I will say on average, um, the class size is 17, but it can go up to 35. And I will say during your junior and senior year, it's most likely to shrink down quite a bit. And so it depends on your major. Yes, the sciences, business and education. Those are our three top majors at Mary Baldwin. And so for me, a sociology major, I've had classes where there were six students. Um, I've had classes where there were four students. And so it was very small for me. And so that meant I knew my teachers, but I also knew my other classmates. And so approximately 50% of our students are students of color. And so we do have a pretty good diversity rate. Um, I will say we have a lot of diversity programs, which I'll talk more about later on. And then we're also an LGBTQ safe zone campus, um, which just means that if students are part of the LGBTQ community, um, they have safe places all over campus. And then we also provide training. It's called safe zone training um, to our students, as well as faculty and staff members. And then 60% of our students are first generation college students. So they're the first ones in their family to go off to college. And so we have a lot of support systems in place for students um, who are the first, just so that they know what does um, an unsubsidized loan mean versus a subsidized loan and things like that. So things they might not have ever heard of before, we sort of go and um, counsel them with that as they're going through the admissions process. But then also after they start college, we go and help them um, to ensure that they'll graduate in their four years. And then we're also located in downtown Stanton, um, which is about maybe two hours from your school. And so it's pretty... Close, I guess you could say, if you're trying to go to a school that's, you know, not out of state, um, but not right there where home is. And so I will say we are in the mountains. So if you like sledding down hills, if you like snow, it's definitely the school for you. And so create your game plan. One of the things that MBU um, helps students to do is prepare for after college. And so as soon as you come in, you start preparing with the McCree Center for Life Success. And so they go and teach you these four things, including skills, confidence, experience, and they give you credentials. And so skills really is sort of problem solving leadership, but also like communication. And so, for example, you might not have ever gone for a job interview um, and you might not really know what to say, how to behave, what type of um I guess, space you, you should present when you're talking to the interviewer or what things you should bring with you. And so one thing that this center does is they go and do mock interviews with students, but they also help students to create a LinkedIn profile, um, to go and create their resume and to sort of find things to help build up their resume. So say you've never had a job before, you've never done an internship, you don't really have any work experience. Um, this center will also help get you connected with opportunities in downtown Stanton or back at home. Um, or even study abroad opportunities, internships, um, paid, non-paid, whatever you're looking for to sort of help build up your resume. And so say you already have an idea of what you'd like to major or minor in, 
Uh, maybe you're interested in doing business. On campus, we have two student-run coffee shops, and so you could go and work for them. But also, say you're in a different field and you're just looking for the opportunity to go and experience it, make sure it's really what you want to do. Students can go and do an internship in their first two years as well as their last two years. So you don't have to wait till you've declared your major in your sophomore year to actually do an internship. You can do it right away, figure out if it's really for you. And if it's not, go ahead and change your mind and you can go and declare your major later on once you know what you want to do. And so confidence, part of building your confidence is making sure that you know about the resources that are available to you so that you're not ever just sort of floundering or figuring, out, figuring it out on your own. And so one of the things we have is a centralized um, hub of resources for you. And so that includes our um, academic resource center, which we call the ARC. And within it, that's where you go for pretty much any sort of academic tutoring. But then we also have the quantitative resource center, which is focused on math tutoring, but also financial planning advice. Um, say you have to file taxes for the first time, they'll teach you, they'll even do it for you. And so different resources like that, but then we also have the writing center. And so say maybe writing is not your strong suit and it's sort of freaking you out because you're thinking I have to go and write all these long papers when I get to college, no worries. The writing center is there to sort of sit with you and help you to plan out your paper, to write your paper, to check over your paper with you, but also to make sure that you're doing everything you need to do to get a good grade. And then experience, again, that's that um, finding jobs, internships, part-time jobs, um, things of study abroad, um, or things to do over the summer. And so all of that is through um, the Vantage Point, which is the Office of Personal and Professional Development. And so they specifically work with you to make sure that you're equipped and ready to go into the job field you're looking into. And then credentials, say you're interested in getting a certificate um, along with your degree, or you just want a degree, but you want to know what to do with it. We'll make sure that you're already built and set up to sort of go and market yourself um, when you are starting to look for a job, maybe in your senior year or even before that. We've had students who in their junior year um, did an internship and then were offered a job in their senior year for once they graduate. And so keep that in mind. And then say you're interested in playing sports. Um, we are division three school. And so that just means that we do not give out athletic scholarships, but you're guaranteed to be able to play. And so I would definitely recommend that if you are more so in it to play the sport because you love the sport, go to a division three school. If you're really looking to get money for it, we're not going to be able to give you that athletic scholarship. So the teams that we have are men and women's basketball, cross country, soccer, tennis, track and field. And then we've got women's softball, men's baseball, and then women's um, volleyball. We do not have men's volleyball yet. And then make a smart investment. So we award all of our students who are accepted a merit scholarship that ranges from 16,000 all the way up to 22,000. And so that's based on your GPA. We are a test optional school. And so really we're looking at your transcripts. And so we're looking for students with a GPA above a 2.6. So if your GPA is below a 2.6, that's when I would definitely say if you've taken the SAT or the ACT, go ahead and send in those test scores. Uh, they could help you. Um, but also go ahead and do your admission essay and then maybe get one or two te um, teacher recommendation letters or counselor recommendation letters to sort of help as well and then in your admissions essay make sure that you just sort of mention maybe why your GPA is low what you've been doing to improve it I know that COVID definitely impacted a lot of students and so we've been seeing that pretty much every student sort of suffered um, in like 2019 2020 and in 2020 2021 and so we've recently seen that a lot of students in this past year have started to bring back up their GPA but it's not too late, I promise. No matter what it looks like right now, definitely go ahead and do that essay and just explain what steps you've been taking to get your GPA to go back up. And then we'll take that into account as well. Now also um, for simply following the FAFSA, we go and give something called the MBU grant, which is 1,500 at minimum. And then once we actually look at your FAFSA, it could go up based on your need. And then also, 
All Virginia residents will receive $4,500 um, from the VTAG, which is the Virginia Tuition Assistance Grant. And so simply for being a Virginia resident, you already know that you'll get that additional $4,500. So say you were to get the lowest merit scholarship of $16,000, with this $4,500 from the VTAG, you're already at $20,500. Now, something new that's not included in this PowerPoint because we literally just went and announced it last week um, is called um, Access in BU. And so pretty much this is a new program that started for students who are um, FAFSA eligible. And so say you've gone and you filed your FAFSA, you know you're um, eligible for financial aid from the government. Then maybe your parents go and make $60,000 or less as your family income then you can go and get um, free cost tuition or no no cost tuition. And so it's pretty much going to be completely free. And then all you pay is like room and board um, and those extra fees. And so this mirror scholarship could help cover the rest of that. And so pretty much though, you're starting off having to pay no money. And so that's renewable each year as well. And so as long as your family makes that 60000 or less and you're eligible for the FAFSA, then you'll be good to go. And so I would definitely say, make sure you file the FAFSA because that is what we use um, to figure that out. You don't have to do a separate application or anything like that. As soon as we get your FAFSA, we'll be able to see it. And then when you receive your financial aid package, which usually takes about maybe two weeks after that, um, then you will go and be able to see on there that it'll say access MBU. And then you'll know that you got that free tuition. And so... For our application process as well, um, we do work on rolling admissions and it is a free application by the way. And so you do not have to pay um, to go and apply to us. We are on Common App and then you can also find the application on our website. Um, either one would work. They do look different of course, but either one works. And then again, we're test optional. We just require your unofficial transcript. And then if you have any questions or concerns, you can contact me. Here's my contact information um, at my office phone, which is 540-887-7257, or my mobile phone, which is 540-255-8103. And then if you do have any materials or anything that you want to send in, my email is very simple. It's Miss Cotton, M-S Cotton, at maryboldwin.edu. Okay. Thank you.